Closing fast on a vehicle that matches the description. Uh, that reported party. All units go to condition two. Pilot into a rig, standby! Hey guys, what's going on? Alfie with another video. Uh, so today in this video, we're taking a look at uh, X-Plane version 10.40. Uh, so this update to X-Plane 10 came up very recently, uh, and I just kind of want to go through it today and try to try to go over as many of the new uh, new features, new updates, as many things as I can. Uh, so as you can see here, it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the scenery. I mean, the, the just look at the lighting on the runway, the scenery. Uh, all the other planes that you see uh, kind of taxiing around and uh, at the hangar there. Uh, it's just it's just amazing. Uh, these runways here are actually a mod that I installed. I'll put the link to these in the, in the, in the description for the video. Um, but other than that, I mean, just the scenery, I mean, because I can tell you, because I've been playing X-Plane for a really long time, just the graphics have definitely um, been been kind of kind of kind of tweaked uh, for this version of X-Plane. It looks really nice. Uh, you know, I haven't upgraded my computer at all, so it's kind of the same... Same thing, uh, just different update, different uh, version of the software, and it just it just looks amazing as you can see here. Uh, this is the Lufthansa A380 here. Um, this video isn't so much about the plane as it is uh, about the updates to the game, so I just kind of just kind of picked out a random uh, random plane to be flying with here. Um, but as you can see, it just looks beautiful. I mean, this update they did a really nice job. The scenery uh, is just amazing. You know, some of that is the scenery that I've installed, but you know, other parts of that are just kind of the game. I mean, the sky colors. Um, you know, just the lighting, the, especially the runway lighting, just looks amazing. I mean, I, I don't think in all the versions of X-Plane I've ever played, I don't think it's ever looked that nice. Um, you know, because I mean, I've seen, you know, some people who've got, like, you know, computers from NASA, uh, if you will. You know, it's really expensive computers with all kinds of crazy... Crazy plugins and add-ons and graphics cards and things who you know the, the you know have nice graphics, but just as far as I'm concerned, I don't think it's ever looked this nice um, as you know as far as versions of X-Plane go. So this is a really nice update. I think they did a really nice job of this. Uh, just as far as some of the stuff goes, and then we'll take off here. So I'll just go through some of the things that they updated real quick, uh, and then we'll get to flying. Uh, so there's about almost a thousand airports that have been updated. Uh, for this version of X-Plane. So, officially on the X-Plane uh, website, they say airports with new user submitted scenery. Uh, and there's 776 of them, uh, which is pretty awesome. Because I've always thought that X-Plane was kind of lacking in the scenery department. I mean, if you want to pay uh, for an airport, then you get a nice looking airport, kind of like this one here. Uh, this is uh, KJFK, is John F. Kennedy International Airport uh, in New York. Uh, but, you know, there's always been payware scenery that looks nice. But they, have you know, did a good job updating the game with uh, just regular old... Regular little freeway scenery. Let me just zoom back out. Uh, just so as far as some of the new things goes, uh, there's been updates to the weather. Uh, so there's a new regenerate weather now command. Basically what that does is just kind of kind of scrambles the weather, whatever it is, just kind of randomizes. It's kind of like if you think about a GTA 5 when you use a trainer and you pick what the weather is. I'm just going to dial back the clock right here because it's kind of... I'm kind of talking too long and it's getting dark in the game. I don't want it to be, don't want it to be too dark. Let me just kind of back that up. Uh, yeah, there we go. That looks oh, it looks even better now. This is this game looks friggin' awesome. The simulator. Um, look at that. Look at that hangar over there. The jet blue hangar over there. These are just amazing graphics. I mean, I don't know what they did, but it just looks really nice. Anyway, so there's some other stuff here that's just really huge as far as updates go. Things I've been waiting for. Uh, there's a new uh, multi-core API-based movie recording option. So if you don't know what that is, just a quick bit of history here of uh, X-Plane. So the movie recording feature in X-Plane has been broken for friggin' years. It hasn't worked. It hasn't because um, there's like the 64-bit version didn't support QuickTime, which is what they were using, and it also didn't support audio, so you had to use the 32-bit version. But when you use 32 bits, they can only use 2 gigabytes of RAM, so you have to lower the gravity. It's, just, it's been broken for a long time. Uh, so I'm glad to see that there's a new uh, new way to record videos on uh, X-Plan. It's kind of, uh, kind of long overdue. Um, so other scenery improvements. Uh, size of night light billboards is now proportional to the screen. Uh, the visual ATC, air traffic control, uh, taxi guide arrows can be turned off in the operations and warning screen. Um, some networking uh, updates. Then another thing is there's uh, there's supposed to be more AI traffic now. The sort of uh, kind of um, you know better than random. I'd say I'd say that the traffic uh, for the most. I'm gonna take off now so you stop uh, just looking at me sitting on the tarmac blabbering on and on. So some other new things uh, that are in X plane. There's supposed to be and I'm not sure the specifics of this, but I'm gonna be checking up on it. There's supposed to be uh, enhanced AI traffic. So if you kind of think about uh, kind of the planes you see on the runway driving around. Uh, and then especially the planes that you see in the air. For the most part, they've just been kind of like random planes that the game comes up with. Now they're supposed to be kind of GPS oriented uh, and, and, and kind of be more comprehensive than just kind of like a random, uh, you know, air traffic control message saying that there's somebody 
uh, at this many feet kind of in your airspace. Just going to be more uh, more realistic, more comprehensive. And just look at that. Look at these graphics. These are just amazing graphics. So another thing that I think is just really, really cool for this version of X-Plane is there's now a nearby air traffic controller window uh, that'll open up in the game. And essentially what that allows you to do uh, is see the frequencies of uh, air traffic control centers that are nearby, like grounds, uh, you know, you know, like ground clearance, etc., uh, and different things like that. Because what it used to be before is you kind of have to like have a list or know them or look it up or have an app. I used to use an app, um, but that's really cool that you can have it in the game. I'll just demonstrate that right here real quick so you can just kind of see uh, how convenient that is to use. All you have to do is just go up here to Special uh, and then just go up to Toggle Nearby Air Traffic Controllers Window. And then here it is. Look at this. I've been waiting so long for a version of X-Plane that has this or just some kind of solution uh, to, to having to know what frequency the tower is in this game. So as, as you can see here, I can kind of move this window around the screen as I'm flying. We're just going to go through these clouds here make it a little make it a little bit bumpy. Um, but anyways, you can see here the different frequencies. Uh, KJFK ground, tower, uh, clearance, different things like that. I'll just go ahead and close that. But that's really convenient because that solves a problem uh, that you know people would have of having to find, find some way separately from X-Plane to know uh, what, uh, what, what frequencies... Uh, there are in the game. Some people, you know, have like another screen or they'll have, you know, like some accessory, um, um, you know, for the game that'll have information like that and maps and that sort of thing. But it's nice that you can finally uh, just have that in the screen in the game right there, really convenient, ready to go. Uh, some other things uh, that I notice here as I look through this is that the air traffic control taxi guideline arrows now disappear when a flight is canceled. Uh, so a problem that I had that was kind of annoying is a lot of the time, you know, if you cancel your flight plan, if you change it, uh, or sometimes you get that thing where it says you violated the air traffic control uh, air traffic control guidelines. Uh, it will kind of cancel your guidance, and then those arrows get stuck on the runway, or they uh, have you going through buildings and stuff like that. So that's not fun. I mean, as I'm looking at my screen right now, maybe it's just because I have a nice monitor. This looks real. I mean, I swear this looks just real. Like, I mean, if you you know brought somebody over and showed them this screen right now, I mean, it just looks absolutely you know identical. The clouds, the plane, uh, and everything. It just looks really nice. Uh, some other stuff, yeah, so I changed the time here just to kind of make it look more badass, and we're also coming in for a landing as we fly over uh, Midtown Manhattan right here. Uh, some other things really quick. You can now use uh, arrow keys to go through the uh, the in-game map. If you don't know what the map is, I'll just show you the map real quick. If I just go up here and go to location, go to local map, uh, it's just right here. I can use arrow keys like I'm using right now to move through this map. Used to not be able to do that. It was kind of confusing how that map worked. I could never really figure it out. Uh, let me just go ahead and put my flaps down. Uh, they fixed the uh, random engine shutdown on the Jar Design A330. I had that problem uh, on my A320 from Jar Design, where basically I'd be flying, uh, not even flying, just on the runway, and randomly everything would shut down. I think that has something to do uh, with the with the security, the SASL, the S A S L. I don't even know what that means. There's just some kind of uh, kind of copyright protection. Uh, that you see in some games, or basically it would just kind of shut everything down randomly. That would happen sometimes. That happens a lot with payware aircraft, I notice. Uh, let's put my engines up here. Use my pedals to get over to the right. We just kind of want to yaw a little bit that way. Uh, there's been a lot of revisions uh, to the mechanics of the tow cable feature in the game. That's not something I played a lot of. I don't do like a lot of those scenarios. I know some people do like kind of like water landings and aircraft carries and that sort of thing, but uh, I think the reason I never really did that stuff is because it never really worked in the first place, so it's kind of it's nice to see that they did something to fix that stuff. I'm just trying to line my line my ass up right here. Uh, here we go. I don't know. Anyway, you guys get it. There's a whole lot of new stuff uh, for uh, for X Plane 10.4.0. No, 10.40. My bad. Yeah, I'm just trying to concentrate on not crashing here as I uh, come in for a landing. I'm trying to line this up the best way I can. I mean, some people use um, use uh, autopilot to land. I've never understood uh, why it is you do that. I mean, the whole point of X Plane. Is that you fly planes like flight simulator? So I don't know why you'd why you'd use a uh, autopilot to do that anyway. Uh, but the main thing for me, I think, with all the revisions and updates, is that the game, not the game, but the simulator, just looks amazing. I mean, look at this. This is this is just amazing. These graphics right here. So the real question now is whether or not I can stick this landing right here because I'm starting to become concerned due to the sheer weight of uh, the A380. That I'm gonna have some trouble doing this because I usually fly like A320s and Cessnas and stuff. Not really the A380. The only time I actually ever flew the A380 in X Plane was for that video I did. Um, where. What was that video? I land on the aircraft carrier just kind of like amazingly. You have no idea how many times I had to try that before I got that right. Uh, yeah. Let's put my flaps up a little bit here. Alright. 
I don't know. I don't know about this one. Try to straight out use my pedals here. All right, throttle down. Now nah, we need a little bit of throttle. Now nah, we're not. We're not even lined up. This man, I suck. Look at this. All right, here we go. Now, nah, now nah, we're straight. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Do we? Act, do do we got it? No. Eh. 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 Come on. There we go. That was just only minor vehicle damage there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and flare the wings. I mean, yeah, I was that was that was kind of a kind of a rough landing. I gotta say though, that, that one was kind of on me because uh, I was trying to talk and fly at the same time. That never that never works out good. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'd highly recommend X Plane if you're uh, if you like flight simulators or anything like that. If you have X Plane, go ahead and update it to ten point four zero. Because it's definitely an awesome update. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of this right here. Where 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 was that thing I had? Air traffic controller. This is this is probably my favorite part of the whole update. Is just the fact that I can do this. I don't have to Google. I don't have to Google frequencies or anything like that. I can just have it right here, right in the software. Uh, so other than that, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at X Plane 10.40. Uh, I hope you maybe you like the A380. I don't know. I'll try to put the link to that in the description. It's definitely a, definitely a fun plane to fly. It's actually kind of easier to fly. Uh, then some planes be just because it's kind of like kind of I don't know I guess it floats it's kind of more of a you know just the mechanics of it are kind of more uh, they're less nimble which I guess makes it easier to fly uh, some way I, I have no idea what I'm talking about anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching have a good one